Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Too many men obsess over another man's attractiveness. Now, look, I'm going to tell you something now. And I've seen this a lot. And I've, I've been on the record as saying it's some uh, suspect shit when a man is going to another man to judge his attractiveness. Or even going further, having another man saying specifically that he has to do this and that to get a woman. Like even when I, when I talk about body game, what do I say? Get your best body and then go out there and see which women like it. I don't know what your best body is. Or at least get your hair cut. Find a haircut that works for you. Those are general things, but you got some guys out here, they'll pay another man to judge their looks and everything. And I'm like, what good is that? If you're paying a woman, okay, that might make, that might make sense. In fact, my, in my view, I would have if I wanted to get into that business, one, you'd be charged a lot of money. Two, I have a, a team of women. I'd have a team of women, at least three women to do that. See, that's first and foremost. You know, you because you're trying to get the women. You ain't trying to get a man. Because women, part of what how a woman's looking at a man is through her vagina. So you cannot look at another man and judge what see what a woman say. You know? You can't see that. Now, I remember I was younger and stuff. I learned that lesson. You know, you look at a guy like, how he getting the women? But then the women looking at him like, oh yeah, he gorgeous and everything. It's gonna be two different things. It's a waste of time. It's a scam, really, it's a grift. Yeah, I said it. You tell anybody who got a problem with it, shit. I'm living outside of Baltimore, Maryland, okay? Seriously, that's how much, that, that's how much it's some bullshit. You trying to get the woman. But see, what you got, or you have a problem is many men, they obsessing because not even just that, but you got whole channels and all they doing is looking at some models and stuff and measuring them and shit. And you know, some guys thinking, well, I'm not measuring up to that guy. I ain't gonna get it. First of all, if I was gonna go to one of those channels and take it seriously, it had to be a channel where a woman was saying the thing. And when y'all listen to women, what they looking for in a man, they be saying other shit. They be saying other shit. If they even, if you even find it, shit, let's just be real. Even though I ain't for like that whole tricking and everything, shit, they be saying money. And those guys with money, the women who want the money, that's, I mean, that's one thing. They, if they want the money, shit, they know the guy ain't gonna look like a fashion model. They know it. Whether I agree with it or disagree, you know, I definitely disagree with a man leading with his wallet, but you got some women looking for that. Or they talking about a man's style. If you look at those videos, like those balloon pop videos, or even those smash and pass videos, whatever. Smash or pass, I always say smash and pass. Smash or pass videos. Yeah, the woman might say, oh yeah, he handsome, but then the woman looking at how he dressed. You know, they might be looking at his clothes. If you going, if a man seriously checking out or gonna follow uh, what's going on. He need to be looking at these style channels. They looking at that. They looking at the body build. That's why I talk about it so much. You know? And let's just be real. They be looking at shit like height. Even though I've talked many times about short kings still getting theirs, let's just be real, women. That's gonna be a factor in there. You know? But see, you got some guys, they focus on what the man's face is. And you got some guys, they have to say, oh, it's just a face. Who'd you find, did, did a woman tell you that shit? And then you know what's funny, right? Some guys will say, well, uh, why ask a fish how to catch a fish? You ain't talking, you're dealing with a human being, motherfucker, stop, the, stop with the dumbass analogy. You, do, you need to be checking out these women's channels, see what they saying. Cause a lot of what I'm telling y'all, I told y'all, I had some sex workers telling me some shit. And I hadn't mentioned it in a long time, but they gave me one piece of game, I still, I've shared it. But I didn't say it's specific. Still haven't had a guy catch up, catch up on it. But shit, once you understand that, you can always get a woman. But it was from sex workers. They not fish, you know. And even asking another guy, because even even on the stuff I talk about, I say go out and figure it out. Go check it out. Go check it out. And it's you know, people be you know got a big body game movement, body game nation. 
Shoot, it was women who hit me with that game. Women. Women will say, hey, get your body right. Women. Women. And shit. But see, you got too many guys, they obsessing over their own looks. They feel like they don't look like this model. They on channels looking at all these other guys. How's that helping you getting some pussy? How's that really helping you? Even when the guy's telling you the looks, Max, how's that helping you getting some pussy? Worried about some other guy or some shit like that. How's that helping you? That ain't helping you in a bit. Because ultimately, you got to find out what's best for you. And what's best for you is, okay, your best look, your, your best look, your best body, and then the women who are down for it. And the women even beyond what you look like, down for your personality, down for your mission and everything. Your mission, not everybody else's. Because what did I say? Every, every woman, man, you got four billion women. They ain't all checking for the same, man. Some guys trying to tell you that, of course, they trying to keep you, you, you know, buying some uh, dubious services from them and shit. Of course, they're going to tell you that shit. But let's be real on it. If you talk to anybody who's dealt with different women of different races, different social classes, everything, anybody who's actually dealt with that will tell you. Because they know different women going to like different shit. So you got to figure out, okay, where you at? Like what, what city you in, what social class you are, what type of women in your area. And if you don't like them, then you might need to move. What type of women coming on to you, what they liking about you, you know? Because every woman ain't going to like a beard on a man, and that's cool. But every woman, and then you got another set of women, they want a beard on a guy. You know, you got some women out there, like you get some guys, they'll hit me up, they talking about, what about ball? Man, come on, man. Anybody who's even asking that question can't be in the black community. Let's just be real. Bald and bearded works in the black community. If you ain't in the black community, then maybe you got to look at what community you in and what works for you. That's how deep it is. Let's just be real. We, we got to stop acting like everything's all equal and shit. You know? And it could be whatever type of woman. So she might get with that one guy because he's bald and bearded, but then that other guy because he got hair like a surfer. You know, you got long hair and shit, so it depends. That's why you got to figure out what works for you, where you at, whatever. You know? You got to figure that shit out, whatever your race, your background is, your economic background, whatever. But obsessing over another man, don't worry about the other man. Don't worry about it. Because I've even had some dudes, they say, well, I'm trying to be like you. Or I'm talking like you. I'm like, Phew. Yeah, but you got to talk like yourself. You got to see what works for you. That's very important. That's very important. You can't obsess over another man's attractiveness. Because what that's doing for you, is that, is that getting your dick sucked? Is that getting you women? Let's just be real. And if you say, well, I don't have, I don't, I don't have his nose. I don't have his cheekbones. You're right. You got your own shit. You need to maximize whatever you got and see which women like that shit. And if some, and there's going to be some who don't like it, you don't worry about it. What I say, you know, which ones are in cooperation? And one of the best ways to find out who like you is just be who you are. Your primary relationship is with yourself. Focus on yourself first and then see who likes it. You know, you still want to fix up as good as possible. You still want your best body. You still want some style and everything, you know. Figure out what you got to get on your mission and then see which women are in submission to your mission. Who want to help you. You know, don't worry about another man's shit. I'm just like more power to him. Because sometimes, and I'm going to be real, sometimes you don't know how, let's be real. Unless you're around that particular man, like you get these guys, they, you know, they, they might show some women going crazy over them in public or some shit, but you don't know what's happening with that guy privately. Hell, you don't even know if that guy's heterosexual. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying you don't know shit. Unless you know that guy personally, you don't know what's happening behind closed doors. But you know what's happening behind, behind your closed doors. Focus on that. All right? So anyway, that's all I have for right now. I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.